Hello everybody and welcome back to the modern tutorial. Now in this episode we're going to be covering like a basic item again, but I'm going to be doing a different item this time. So I'm going to create a folder called alchemical tools in my mod folder. Now if you remember last time we made ash, this time we're going to make a pestle and mortar or a mortar and pestle, depends how you say it. Now if anybody who doesn't know, a uh, pestle and mortar or a mortar or a pestle is basically it's like a bowl with a, a small stone object which you hold and you're supposed to like grind spices and herbs and stuff into it. We're going to be using it for grinding up flowers and plants in Terraria for the alchemy mod. So now we're going to start with all the using, so it's a using system using Microsoft XNA framework, Terraria, Terraria ID because we'll be referencing stuff from Terraria and Terraria mod loader namespace alchemy.items the alchemical tools because that's the folders we put in in our mod if you just put this in the mod folder then it would just be alchemy and we're going to create a public class for pestle mortar as a mod item and then we're going to set the defaults so this is more than pestle I actually checked up online now we're going to make item with an item height but we're not going to fill them in yet because we don't know what our sprite like how big our sprite's going to be Max stack one because we'll not want to make it seem like it's a tool. And two tool tips. For tool tip one, I like to create the name of the item so when you hover over it, it says the name. And then tool tip two, just something, I don't know, not necessary. <laughs> item to value a thousand and item dot rare one. Now we're going to add a recipe for this and we will actually come back to this later because there's an error in it. So mod recipe, recipe equals new mod recipe mod, then recipe dot add ingredients, terraria dot id dot item id dot copper. Now it's I was looking here as you can see. Copper bar and we want three copper bars. I'm just gonna copy and paste that to wood and then I just like balance the recipe a bit, I was like, a bit confused. Recipe dot add tile, terraria dot id dot tile id. Now we said furnaces last time with an S on the end to signify all furnaces, so now we're going to say anvils to signify all anvils. Set result this and add recipe, and as you can see I copied and pasted that for tin bars, except we'll see in a bit uh, an error, and I'll tell you how to fix it. So now I'm just spriting it, first I sprited the, uh, the bowl, and when I was happy with the bowl I made the pestle. Now, this sprite was, it was harder, I was definitely I think so. It took like a good 20 minutes to get a thing which I was like at least decently happy with. Um, but in the end it, it didn't look that bad. And after I'd coloured the main bowl part, I spent quite a bit of time on the actual mortar. I don't know which bit's which. But the actual like uh, thing you hold. So once you've done that, just save it. So now we've got the pestle mortar. .png and pestle mortar .cs and they have to be the same thing. Um, and since we've made the sprite now, we're going to head in and just type item .width 40 height 32. So jumping in, if you compile it, there was an error here, and it said that add recipes has basically two functions. So I deleted that and I set it to copper bars. Now, as you can see, I just go through here with the errors until eventually it works. Now, the reason why I made a cut there is because for some reason in that world it took me forever to find copper. And if you remember, we set copper bars as one of the ingredients. So going back here, we're going to make copper bars. And then as you can see there, there's a mortar and pestle. A mortar and pestle used for alchemy. So at the moment it doesn't really have any use, but it will. You'll need it in crafting recipes later. And uh, you'll probably be able to place it down on a table. I think that's a good idea for the next tutorial to make a tile where you can place it down. So uh, thank you all for watching and uh, have a nice day.